someone else who has been following this case closely is host of the true crime podcast, The Sidebar, Joshua Ritter. He's also a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Mr. Ritter, I just want to jump right in there and, and follow up on some of the things that Laura mentioned in her report, uh, including the belt with the initials. We can expect all of that uh, to be contested by uh, Mr. Heerman's defense attorney. But Mr. Heerman is expected to be charged later this morning in Maureen Brainerd Barnes' death, the fourth victim we've been hearing about. What kind of concrete evidence do you think authorities had in her case, if any, that caused such a delay in filing the murder charge? It was the DNA evidence. One thing that we know about this investigation is that they've been in incredibly thorough, but they've also been patient. And so it looks like that they wanted to wait until they had more uh, conclusive uh, testing done on the DNA evidence that uh, linked Kuhlman to this last victim here before they were willing to charge him. And I think that shows um, good judgment on their part, that they weren't just willing to go ahead and charge him if they didn't feel that they had a locked down case. So it's no surprise that this uh, victim is being charged. Uh, the timing is a little bit of, of a surprise. But if you had been following the case and reading the affidavits attached, you knew that this was a victim that he was the prime suspect on. Hey, Joshua, now I've mentioned how you've also worked in the space as a criminal defense attorney. Authorities say they were able to confirm DNA evidence by plucking pizza crust out of Herman's trash can. However, that pizza crust deemed a bit controversial to some criminal experts. Will it be enough for the prosecution to get a conviction? I think it will. I mean, li listen, obviously the defense is going to attack it. They're going to attack the constitutionality of recovering that pizza crust. I, I, I don't think the prosecution is going to have much of a trouble with that argument because it was something that he discarded. Therefore, they don't need a, a search warrant uh, in particular to, to recover that evidence. But they're also going to uh, attack the collection of DNA evidence and the transporting of DNA evidence and the testing of DNA evidence. This whole case is really going to come down to that linchpin evidence of the DNA evidence. And the defense is going to do whatever they can to try to poke holes in that and cause some sort of doubt to arise in the jurors' minds. And Joshua, last question I have for you. I have less than a minute, but I know you've covered this in your podcast. Tell our viewers why you think um, Huberman will likely have four murder charges after today's major announcement. Eleven bodies were found on Gilgo Beach. Why haven't authorities made any gains in those other cases? I think they may be working on those other cases. I think they're, like I said, I think they're being patient. I think they're taking their time. I think they want to make sure that they don't charge him with something that's not going to stick that may cause jurors to doubt the other counts. Right now, they have four strong counts. They're going to cross corroborate each other when they actually argue this at trial. And so they don't, they want to make sure that they don't bring in another count that may be weak and cause some doubt to arise in the jurors' minds. Joshua Ritter, host of his true crime podcast, The Sidebar. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.